GM CEO Mary Barra has hinted at the possible return of a Altium-based Chevy Bolt and Bolt EUV. Is this actually likely? Do I think this will happen? Although the Chevy Bolt has been cancelled, as in they're saying that the end of this year, in fact, before the end of this year, there'll be no more Bolts, no more Bolt EUVs, even though a lot of people want to own them. Even though it's been cancelled, Mary Barra has revealed some very kind of cryptic, weird news about the Bolt and the Bolt EUV. And it comes right as owners are well, quite angry that um, their batteries are no longer being replaced. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back. Everyone else, great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, I'm the Electric Viking. Am I from Norway, Sweden? No, I may have some ancestry from there, apparently, I'm, I've been told. But um, yeah, the way I actually got this name was, I called this channel something else. And someone who was a fan back in the day, they said, hey, why don't you call yourself the Electric Viking? I don't remember who it was that suggested it, but whoever it was, thank you. Mary Barra has hinted at something very strange. Now, first, if you haven't seen my video about the fact that EV owners or Bolt and Bolt EV owners are very, very, um, a lot of them are angry, which is understandable because now their battery packs are not going to be replaced. The owners of them have to monitor them for 10,000 kilometers or more than 6,000 miles but they can't charge the battery packs fully. They have to monitor them for that period of time. And then after that, they have to do their own monitoring. And yeah, it's um, it's all a bit of a, a bit of a shit show, I think you'd say. Anyhow, I'll put a link in the description to that video. That said, I still think it's a good car for the price. It is. I mean, let's be frank. What, $22,000 after you get the EV incentives? Amazing price. Really, really good value. The EUV, in my opinion the sort of slightly crossover version that looks better. I think it's better value. It doesn't cost much more. The price is, you know, just a tiny little bit more. So I was disappointed. I was really, really quite disappointed when I heard that General Motors were going to cancel this vehicle. And I thought, why? I mean, if you need to increase the price, just increase the price by a little bit, 10%. I think people still buy it. It's really good. I mean, hey, I know the Model 3 is getting down there in price, getting closer to the Bolt and the Bolt EV, but the Bolt, they're still quite a bit cheaper. They're still, you know, seven, 8,000 US dollars cheap, and that's a big difference. So I was disappointed. I don't know about you. Let me know if you, how you felt about that. So when I heard Mary Barra say, it will likely make a return, I thought, this is strange. Why cancel it only to make it have a return? While speaking on NPR's Marketplace podcast, GM's head CEO, who makes around 26 million US dollars per year, said that she's been driving a Bolt EUV for several months and that she absolutely loves it, but it's a second generation EV, which means higher production costs than the third gen Altium platform, which brings a 40% reduction in battery costs. Personally, I find it very, very hard to believe that it's gonna be 40% cheaper for General Motors to produce NCM batteries, you know, nickel ternary batteries. I don't know how these are going to be 40% cheaper. If they had said they're lithium ion phosphate batteries, I would have said, oh, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I can see how that would be that much cheaper. But 40% cheaper, mm, not buying it. Uh, and the other thing is, if this is so expensive in comparison to what the Equinox will be in terms of the actual cost for GM to build it, how are GM not losing like 20 grand per car like Ford is on their EVs? Maybe they are. We don't actually know. However, as a result of all this, the current Bolt EV and the EUV will be retired by around November, it's said this year, even though customers still want it. Starting price is $26,500 US dollars. Like I said, I still think they'd sell them at $30,000. Increase the price a little bit, GM. Keep it around. Put some lithium ion phosphate batteries in it. That pretty much solves your pricing problems. That would actually really make the battery packs cheap and make them probably a lot more reliable. Here's what Barry Barra said. I've been driving a Bolt EUV for several months before that. I absolutely love it. So why are you stopping making it? Said the host. Barra, because it's our second gen technology. 
The difference between our second gen and third gen, which is Ultium, is a 40% reduction in battery costs. And we're leveraging the names of our vehicles that are well understood and known in the industry. So she's sort of disclosing the fact that part of it's marketing. We're leveraging the names. You know, clearly that's just marketing. I don't understand why she thinks anyone would care. People just want a compelling car. They don't, I don't think they really care about the marketing side of things, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. People you know who drive an Equinox today will understand what an Equinox EV, what that delivers to them. But, you know, Bolt is something that has built up a lot of loyalty and equity. Don't know about equity these days, considering what's just happened, but hey. So I can't say any more because I don't discuss future product programs. But, you know, it was primarily a move from second gen to third gen. But that's an important vehicle in our portfolio. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, I guess. Is the Bolt EUV and the EV coming back? Well, people are speculating that it is. They think, because, based on this conversation, that it is. I'd say no. I don't think it is. But I'm guessing here. I don't 100% know. I just know. I have a good idea of Mary Barra. I follow her pretty much everything she says, even though it feels like I'm in the nut house sometimes, a little bit. Does anyone else feel that way, or is it just me? Anyway, here's the thing. GM say they're going to bring out the Equinox EV for thirty thousand US dollars by the end of this year, but they also say that they can't produce profitable EVs until between some point between twenty thirty to twenty forty. So GM is saying at best they're seven years away from producing profitable EVs that they can price between thirty to forty thousand US dollars. Clearly, that means GM don't intend on making a lot of Equinoxes because if they did they'll be losing probably a lot of money on every single one. And if they're saying they can't make a profit on an Equinox for $40,000, which that's what they said, how can they make one on a $30,000 one? They can't. Now, if GM had said, you know what, we're going to do a Ford. We're going to do a Ford. We're going to use lithium ion phosphate batteries. We're going to use structural battery packs. We're going to use gear casting, some sort of technology along those lines. Toyota's using it now. I mean, um, there's numerous other automakers, Geely, using it as well. If they'd said that, I'd say, okay, they can do this. You know, there is a pathway for GM to get to profitability. I don't see how there is based on what they're doing right now. Now, if it is true what Mary Barra is saying, that the new Ultium platform will provide a 40% reduction in battery costs, then I think that Mary Barra wouldn't have said that yeah, they can't make a profitable EV for 30 to 40,000 US dollars. Because seriously, I mean, if they really could actually reduce battery cost by 40% versus the Bolt and the Bolt EUV, surely that means that they can make a profitable EV for 40,000 US dollars, surely. In their words, they said they can't. So if you're waiting, hanging around, hoping that um, GM will actually reveal a new Bolt or Bolt EUV, I don't think it's happening. In spite of the media trying to get us excited and worked up and thinking that it's gonna be one. No, that's not what Mary Barra actually said. So I don't think that's what she's claiming, but I, maybe I've maybe I've misread this. Let me know if you think I misread it in the comments. Should you buy a Bolt or a Bolt EUV now, today? If that's your price range, if that's your budget, absolutely. The standard Bolt has 260 miles of range. The Bolt EUV has 247 miles of range. You're pretty much getting the best value per dollar on range of any EV in the US today. Of course, if you want to stretch a bit further, yeah, you can get other cars. ID4 is also quite affordable, a bit more money, about $8,000 more, but I think it's probably worth that spend, maybe. Of course, then you've got the Model 3 and the Model Y as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.